Hi everyone, uh, Joe Wrights with Marketo Foo, and uh, today what we're going to talk about is just a very quick tip and trick that tip, tip slash trick, I, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Playing with my mic. I don't know how more people don't know this trick already. Um, when people don't know it, I'm. It's always it always makes me feel really cool because it's like one of those things that once you know it, it's it's a great little thing to have in your back pocket, but. In the course of time, as you develop templates and uh, your instance grows, you're going to eventually change that template, whether you're talking about a form, a landing page, or an email. Now, I've said elsewhere in other videos, and just if you've ever talked to me for five seconds about templates, I prefer building everything in the design studio so I can change it once, mass reapprove all the assets. That's the tip we're going to talk about today, is a lot of people don't know that you can actually do that and mass reapprove any assets. because. Uh, basically, in, in Marketo, the way it works is when you have a uh, templated thing, like a form, landing page, or email, if you make changes to the template, any asset in your marketing activities folder that uses said template is going to become unapproved. So in the case of landing pages, you need to reapprove them, otherwise just, your changes won't show. So, um, and same, same for emails that are an ongoing nurture kind of thing. So uh, let's do it. So I'm going to share my screen here, and we're going to dive into Marketo. And okay, so like we always do, we're starting at the My Marketo screen with all these fun little tiles, whatever. Go over to Design Studio. And for the sake of the argument, we're going to talk about landing pages. So uh, bear in mind, this is the Fathom Sandbox, so uh, lots of learning occurs here. And, uh, you know, we generally don't... Um, clean up after ourselves all the time. So what we're going to do is look at this standard template because I know it's used 56 times right here. And um, we can see all the different things it's used by. Lots of different uh, test campaigns and things like that that we've built out just so we could have some kind of asset to show. Now, if I were to edit this, uh, I, I'd go in here and um, you know see probably the sexiest landing page in the world. Um, just spoiler, it looks like this. Uh, so it's, this is literally just a placeholder. Um, but so say I'm done, uh, I make my changes, I get out, right? Um, so um, when I refresh Marketo, what you're going to see is because I edited it, it's now, what's going on? I know you're not approved. Uh, anyway, when you edit something, in Marketo, it's going to become, maybe this is a bad example to pick, uh, it's going to become unapproved, like this one. And basically, when that happens, you want to make sure that you reapprove all the assets where it appears. So, uh, back up in, so when you look at your design studio in a collapse format, you have like these main areas. If you click on landing pages, for example, you can see a roll up of all the landing page names that are, that are, that you have um, in here and then what template they're using. So we can see a lot by standard template. We can sort these ascending. This is how I like to do it. And then figure out which page has all of those standard template things. So we can see some are unapproved. Uh, I think because it's a default template, this was a, it didn't unapprove. Um, but basically, so like this LP mind game one, this is maybe a better example. We see all these templates here are unapproved. Uh, now, if I wanted to, um, Re I could go one by one and reapprove these, but that's time consuming, and I think we can all agree if it's 2016 slash 2017, um, just because we're so late in the year, doing anything one by one manual like that is a just dumb idea. Like that's what the automation platform exists for. So basically, you can click on one, hold down shift, click on another one, and look, the whole range is highlighted. So what you can do here is right click, and then approve draft. So all these unapproved little uh, caution signs right here, check out what's about to happen. Boom, mind blown. So all these are now reapproved. If I click on this, uh, it's going to take me to where it lives in uh, the marketing activities folder. So um, that is essentially it. Um, you can do that for back in Design Studio. You can do it for uh, you can do it for forms. You can do it for emails. Uh, basically, if you ever edit a form, it, you're going to have to reapprove the landing pages that it appears on, and you'll be able to roll these up and sort by what's approved, what's not. Um, and same same deal with email, similar to landing pages. You can uh, just you know select in batch what you want to reapprove, right click, boom, 
done. So if you ever make a change to a template, that's what you do. Uh, where am I at? This must be fun for you guys to watch. Okay. So essentially, uh, that's it. Um, you know, again, always put everything in Design Studio if it's going to be something used regularly because you can update it once and then just batch reapprove all those changes to landing pages or emails. So um, this has been another episode of Marketo Fu. My name is Joe Wrights. Please feel free to hit any questions in the comments, uh, share this video, comment on it, create a good discussion in the Marketo community. Whatever's useful for you. Um, these are certainly a lot of fun to make. And any other tips and tricks that you'd like to see or, or questions you have, uh, let me know because I'd like to do more and more of these as time goes on. So uh, again, Joe Wrights signing off.